where is narcissism in the human design body graph? Well, first we have to look at what do we mean by narcissism? There are about eight different common systems for understanding this term, whether we're talking about Kernberg, Otto Kernberg, or Heinz Kohut, who had very diametrically opposed psychoanalytic perspectives on narcissism and very different approaches to what you should do. Kernberg saying you should be very stern with narcissists, Kohut having more empathy, trying to model parental empathy and things like that, um, or going into Lacanian or Freudian approaches or Jungian approaches, all of these on the psychoanalytic perspective, all the way over to pop psychology, which uses narcissism as a catch-all for bad behavior. But of all these, one of my favorites is the work of Theodore Millen. What I like about Millen is that he understands narcissism as part of a fundamental personality structure. The unhealthy expression of the self-confident personality structure. In fact, he identifies 15 fundamental personality structures. And a person can belong to more than one. There are combinations and so on. But these 15 uh, fundamental structures shed a lot of light on how within every disorder there's a potential for healthy expression. That the same person with a narcissistic personality disorder could actually have a healthy expression as a self-confident personality under the right circumstances, under the right personal growth, and so on. Many autism spectrum disorders uh, fall under the category of the schizoid personality disorder. But this personality disorder is actually a perfectly healthy personality structure, very unperturbed, unbothered, and so on, um, when, when it can express in a healthy way. Now, this is not to create a relativistic thing where we say, oh, you're just calling it narcissistic personality disorder, but it's not really. No, it, it is really. I mean, people really do get these diagnoses. We should be careful throwing these terms around because there are technical meanings of them. But if you're a DSM-5 following psychiatrist, then yes, absolutely, these are real categories that people really belong to. So I'm not saying that everyone who belongs to one of these categories is secretly, you know, has some positive trait. Uh, they might not. They might not have any positive traits, but the potential is there. Each of these disorders has the potential for healthy expression, and each structure that expresses itself in a healthy way has the potential to fall into a disordered expression as well. So what does this have to do with human design? Where is this in the body graph? Nowhere. The body graph is a karma chart. This is a term I borrowed from Chetan Parkin, who got it from his friend, who said, oh, you're looking at karma charts. That's what you're looking at when you look at the body graph. The karma is there for this life. It's the karma we incarnate with in the life and we work with throughout the life. And it doesn't matter if you're left angle, right angle, juxtaposition. This is the karma that you've come into this life with. Just because the transpersonal profiles are working with karma doesn't mean that the, the right angle and the juxtaposition don't have karma. They do. And so the karma that we're working with in the life, that is for the life. That is the body graph that we have, the, the life force energy we've come equipped with for this life. We've come equipped with this life force energy and not some other and the reason we've come equipped with this life force energy is because it's necessary to fulfill this life's purpose, which is not the soul's purpose. That is to say, yes, it is the soul's purpose to fulfill each life's purpose, but the soul's purpose is something much greater. What we can call the soul, the eternal soul, the personality crystal in human design terms. The personality crystal is who we really are at a deep level. We incarnate and decarnate and incarnate and decarnate in this cycle, and each time we have a different body graph. Each time we come equipped with different life force energy. Each time we have different karma. Narcissism is not in the body graph. It's in the personality. It's in some people's personalities and not others. Those who have the self-confident personality structure 
will deal with narcissism. It's not everyone's lot in life to deal with that. Uh, you know, again, if you read Millen, there are 15 different f fundamental personality structures. Some people deal with something else entirely, right? They deal with being very dependent on others, or they deal with the schizotypal uh, in its more negative side, or the rich imagination in a more positive expression, or the schizoid in a negative side, and the dearth of imagination uh, as it's negative, but perhaps the unperturbed, unbothered, scientific, objective approach in a more positive sense. So each of these disorders has a range of expression all the way up to its healthy expression as a personality structure. And these are things we carry with us lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. If, if you know an example of someone um, who's been diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, hopefully you haven't diagnosed them with your armchair diagnosis. Hopefully it's not just your suspicion because that is quite dangerous and I, I would caution against it. But if you happen to know someone who actually has been diagnosed narcissistic personality disorder, I can tell you that person didn't develop that in this lifetime. That's something they've carried with them in every lifetime. And each lifetime they are working towards maybe taking baby steps, but hopefully taking great leaps and bounds towards a healthier expression of the self-confident personality structure. That's the goal, that's the ideal, right? But it can take many, many lifetimes to get there. So where is narcissism in, in the human design body graph? Nowhere. It's not in the body graph. It's in the personality. And you can't get rid of it by rejecting it or trying to teach it out of a person. It's a core part of their personality structure. And all we can look at are the healthy and unhealthy expressions of that structure.